So let's uh, do a problem that uh, has to do with power series, but it's a little bit more abstract. So let's uh, suppose that we know that uh, the series of the, from n equals 0 to infinity of a n x to the n converges for the interval negative 10 to 10. Uh, the question is what this says about where the, uh, where the series uh, a n times 3x plus 4 to the n converges. So we can figure it out from this, and let me show you how. What we can see here is that the given series has a center of 0, and its interval of convergence is negative 10, 10. What that means is that the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of a n x to the n has a radius of convergence of 10. That's clear. We're, we have negative 10, 10. We've got 0 in the middle, so clearly r equals 10. That's the amount that the, that this, the interval of convergence extends in either direction. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can, can use this to sort of back into uh, what, the, what the ratio test said about uh, the convergence of this series that, that allowed us to find that that was the radius of convergence. I'll show you what I mean. At some point, in order to find the radius of convergence, we calculated limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 1 x to the n plus 1 over a n x to the n, which equals the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 1 over a n times x. And this is, of course, equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 1 over a n times x. So it's, in other words, it's this limit times x, and that had to be, or sorry, times absolute value of x, and this had to be less than 1. Now, note that what we got here, we know that if we're getting a radius of convergence of 10, the last step that we get is going to say absolute value of x is less than 10. That's when we get a radius of convergence of 10 for a series centered at 0, this is what we're going to get at the end. So what that means is that um, what that means is that if I have this expression here, limit of this times absolute value of x is 1, then that means that absolute value of x less than 1 over that limit Must have given, um, must have given 10. That means that this expression here has to be equal to 1 over 10. That's the only way that could be true. That uh, that's the only way that could be true. That if this is going to be equal to 1 over 10, that would have given us this expression to find the radius of convergence of 10. So we've now figured out what this limit must be. Now let's try it with this series and you'll see that we can use that fact. So this is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 1, 3x plus 4 to the n plus 1 over a n, 3x plus 4 to the n. This simplifies to the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 1 over a n times 3x plus 4 once we divide everything out. So, but the thing is, now we're not blind as to what this means. We know that this means that this has to be equal to 1 over 10. So, now what I can do is I can rewrite this inequality. Say this is going to be equal to 1 over 10, 3x plus 4, and that has to be less than 1. So let's uh, rearrange this a bit. What we can see is that if I multiply by 10, I'm going to get absolute 3x plus 4 is less than 10. Rewriting this again just a bit is going to give me negative 10 is less than not absolute, because I'm taking out the absolute values by putting it between negative 10 and 10. 3x plus 4 is less than 10. So this absolute value inequality means that 3x plus 4 is going to be between negative 10 and 10. Let's come up here. I can subtract 4 from every part of that inequality, and that's going to give me negative 14 
is less than 3x is less than 6. And finally, I divide everything by 3, giving me negative 14 thirds is less than x is less than 6 thirds, which is 2. Since I also know that the endpoints were included, I can, can preserve that. And the answer, the answer is going to be negative 14 thirds, comma 2.